Tanishtu, we listened carefully yesterday to your comments on the economy. You spoke, for example, about there being, having to be a new perspective and a lot of honesty, that we should rid ourselves of the politics of denial and anger, areas you championed this side of the house, no doubt. But you continue to outline to the doll and to the people that the mortgage issue and unemployment is being tackled with actions that this government has taken. And despite these actions, unemployment is rising. And we heard from the central bank last week that the mortgage issue was not being dealt with. And if you truly believe that these areas are being tackled, your speech had some major inferences about politics of denial, and you're far more, far more out of touch than we give you credit for. I welcome the fact, and we all welcome the fact, that you seem to have converted to the politics of honesty rather than the politics of denial and anger. And I'm sure many of your colleagues, such as Deputies Shortle and Penrose, Bruin, Nulty and Nocton even, welcome that too. Tarnish the people, as you know and you should know, but you don't seem to give the impression that you know. People are under ferocious pressure. ESB prices are up. Thank you. Petrol is up. Hold on a second. Gas is up. Health insurance is up. And even those who have jobs are finding it extremely difficult to make ends meet. Businesses do not have access to finance, whether you believe it or not. But what I want to get to, despite the fact about medical cards and carers allowance being so long waiting for, 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 for results, is the EU fully aware? Are, our, are your counterparts fully aware of what the Irish people are actually going through? Thank Some you. ministers, for example, are saying that the, Ireland's debt is unsustainable. We're over time. Do you Thank believe you. this to be the case? Or do you believe that being on Time magazine and accepting awards is more important than you and your count telling your counterparts and telling the EU the real truth about what is actually happening Thank in the you. Irish economy? Thank you. The real truth is that the people of this country are suffering very badly for the consequences of what your party did in government prior to, prior to you being booted out of office at the beginning of 2011. You have some neck. You have some neck to come in here and ask about what the EU thinks or, uh, or what they did. You tied us, your government tied us hand and foot in, a de in an agreement that you made with the EU and the IMF at the end of 2010. And this government, this government was left with the task of having to unravel that, to renegotiate it, to get a better deal for the Irish taxpayer and for the Irish people. And we are proceeding to do that. And we're proceeding at a number of levels. First of all, on the terms of the agreement itself, which has been the subject of renegotiation by the government and is continuing to be in order to get a deal for the Irish taxpayer that lifts the burden of bank debt, which your government, your people, tied us hand and foot to, tied this state and tied the Irish taxpayer to the fortunes of the banks in 2008 and repeated it and consolidated it in 2010. We have to unwind that now and we will do it. Secondly, we have to proceed as a country to create jobs, to attract investment, which is what we're doing since this government was formed, 17,000 additional jobs in the private sector uh, as against the huge job losses that we had seen over the, uh, over, over the previous time. And on mortgages, on mortgages, and yes, people are suffering as a consequence of mortgages and negative equity, equity uh, and all that goes with that. This is the first government that has decided that we will tackle the issue of mortgages, that we will put in place new legislation on personal insolvency, which is, which is now almost at a completion, completion stage, which, which will provide the uh, person who has the loan and the mortgage with a greater degree of strength when they're negotiating with their bank. Thank you. Thank you, Tarnish. Let's be honest about this. The reality is... The reality is... The reality is... The economy is flat, and even the Irish CEOs this morning cannot predict growth 
until late 2014. And we welcome any job announcements, especially the one this morning in Loud. Of course we do. But overall, you have to look at the unemployment figures, and you can see that they are rising, despite emigration being severely high. So I go back to the number of the question again. Can you, with a degree, as you said yourself, of perspective and honesty, in the absence of denial or anger, tell us when, when and not how, the moral and economic benefit of retrospective capitalization will accrue to us, the Irish people, whom effectively, as the Taoiseach eventually agreed on Monday, saved the euro by virtue of recapitalization at the people's expense. And in doing that, he rubbished, he rubbished the commitment the Jew gave to the Irish people and subsequently got a mandate on by virtue of the fact that you would burn bondholders. And I would say it was almost treasonous to give the Irish people that impression. But let you live by that commitment. Let you live by that commitment. And let you now answer the question as to when, not how, when the Irish people will get what's due to them. The Irish people uh, will get this deal when we are satisfied that we have the best deal available for the Irish taxpayer. And let me assure you, let me assure you that we will get the best deal for the Irish taxpayer. We are obliged to get it, and we're obliged to get it financially, and we're obliged to get it politically, and we're obliged, and we're obliged, and we're obliged to get it because of the incredible mess, the incredible mess and hames that the previous government made of this. You did what? You tied the fortunes of the taxpayer to the banks, you gave them a blanket guarantee, and you, 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 then, you then tied, tied the Irish taxpayer, you then tied the Irish taxpayer hand and foot to a deal with the EU and the IMF, which we now have to unwind. Let me assure you of this. Let me assure you of this. We will solve the mess that your government created, and we will get the best possible deal for the Irish taxpayer.